In general, fired heaters comprise of the following main parts. First, we list them, then in the next couple of videos, we will examine each part in detail. The first part is the radiation section. The second part is the convection section. And finally, the stack. The radiation section consists essentially of a combustion chamber equipped with tubes. The tubes are separated from each other, but connected by elbows. The process fluid circulates inside the tube bundle. Heat is transferred from the flue gases mainly by radiation. Part of the heat transfer is also achieved by convection between the flue gases and the tubes. The temperature of the flue gases exiting the radiation section is high, usually around 700 degrees Celsius. Thus the heat transfer efficiency is low. In the convection section, in order to recover the sensible heat from the flue gases, the process fluid circulates at high speed through a second tube bundle. Here, heat is transferred by convection. The second tube bundle can be parallel or perpendicular to the first one. The tubes may be thinned to increase the heat transfer surface area. The flue gases are usually the fluid with the greater thermal resistance. The efficiency of a furnace with a convection section is obviously higher than that of a furnace with a radiation section alone. Efficiency depends on the inlet temperature of the heated fluid and also on the size of the heat exchange surface area in the furnace. This will be covered in detail further ahead. Lastly, the stack is used to discharge the flue gases. Now, to better illustrate these concepts, let's have a look at two different types of fired heaters. Vertical cylindrical furnace and cabin furnace with horizontal tubes. For the first example, we can identify the radiation zone, the convection zone, and the stack. Shown now on screen, the cross-sectional view of the furnace. Starting our way from bottom to top, we can identify the burners. The radiation tube bundle, which is vertical for this configuration. The convection tube bundle, which is here horizontal, and thus perpendicular to the radiation tube bundle. In addition to various accessories and features, as depicted here. For the cabin furnace with horizontal tubes, we can identify the foundation of the furnace. The radiation zone. The convection zone. And the stack. Shown now on screen, the burners. The radiation tube bundle, which is horizontal. The convection tube bundle, which is also horizontal. And thus parallel to the first tube bundle of the radiation zone. 